Audiomatic presents The Cure for Writer's Block by Andrew Main. Finding Stories While the details of your story can be drawn from your own experiences, sometimes we have to reach outside ourselves for the overarching plot or the premise. We might have all the right elements, great characters, interesting personal conflicts, but we're missing the narrative arc that ties them all together. If you're a thriller or mystery writer, you don't have to look any further than headline news. When Peter Benchley read a story about a shark hunter harpooning a two-ton great white off the coast of Long Island, New York, he found a catalyst for his lifelong fascination with sharks and elements of the fisherman, who would later become immortalized in the character of Quentin Jaws. Ian Fleming's Naval Intelligence Division experiences in World War II and the various characters he encountered, spies, commandos and even his own brother, inspired the creation of James Bond. Michael Crichton took the developments in the field of genetics and possibly inspired by the controversy over the book in his own image, David Rovick's so-called true story of a millionaire who finances a secret project to produce a clone, and created the story of a theme park, filled with dinosaurs going awry in Jurassic Park. Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl, which became an amazing film directed by David Fincher from a screenplay by Flynn, revolves around a case that feels like something CNN's Nancy Grace would spend weeks covering in minute detail. If you look around, you'll find countless starting points for stories. As a fiction writer, you can use these as influences, but provide your own spin on them. Part of why Gone Girl works so well as a thriller is that the case of the missing wife feels so similar to a real event, but because this is a work of fiction, Flynn gets to use our expectations and biases against us. Jaws and Jurassic Park made compelling books and films because their subjects, a shark with a vengeance and dinosaurs brought back to life, are almost science fiction, but so close to reality that we as an audience feel like they could happen, which makes the drama all the more realistic. Your next conflict could be today's headline or meme. Here's a list of places to go looking for them. News, what are the big stories of the day? What are the little ones? Every day the local news crime blotter recounts events dramatically affecting the lives of at least one person. History, our past is filled with incredible events that shaped the world we live in. All too often the lives of the little people are forgotten, whether they're the foot soldiers that served the great leaders, or the millions of individuals that had their lives torn apart by war. There are so many stories that haven't been told, that should. Museums, take a trip to local museum, or historical attraction and start talking to the guides. They'll fill your heads with more stories and conflicts than you could imagine. Interviews, Stephen Ambrose's interviews with the surviving members of Easy Company formed the basis for his book and the HBO series, Band of Brothers. These incredible tales of heroism were just waiting for someone to come and ask about them. What would you find out interviewing local cops, firefighters or school teachers? There's no need to be shy about it. Just call someone up, tell them you're writing a book and show up with a recorder. Science, if you keep up with the latest events in science, you'll find countless jumping-off points to wonderful what-if scenarios. From viral epidemics to radical new cures that carry with them new ethical considerations, science is filled with intriguing possibilities and fascinating personalities. Summing it up, the world is filled with story possibilities that grow much faster than the number of writers seeking inspiration. Nearly everything you read called news has some story angle that can be mined. Try this, pick up a newspaper, while you can, and circle all of the possible story ideas you can find. It might be something sensational, such as a murder case or something mundane, but with great personal stakes like a school board election.